so beautiful and so huge. Yeah, this is my first time here, so I had no idea what to expect. I've been here many times on missions. Looking at this view, I can see why Ortis is so famous. Nice whistle. Damn, it's almost annoying how scenic this place is. Oh, you say that, but I can tell you're happy to be here. Boasting a population of 460,000, the port city of Ortis is three times the size of St. Ark. It's also the font from which House Kayan, head of the four great houses and largest noble family in Erebonia, draws their wealth. However, since the Civil War, there have been certain issues. Huh? What do you... Hmm. Well, we can learn more about the city through our special ops missions. Patrick, will you be returning to the Duke's mansion? I will, given that I seem to be the resident caretaker now. Oh yes, and I've heard from Eusis. He should arrive this evening, on House Aubrea's private airship, no less. Oh, also, I just noticed Patrick's hair keeps clipping into the side of his head. Oh, come on. Oh my God. <laughs> I see. Would you tell him to give me a call when he gets in? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Reen, new class seven. I wish you all the best of luck with your missions in La Mer. Though if you do find yourself in trouble, don't hesitate to call on me. Uh, oh, thank you. We will try to live up to your expectations. Uh, for a fancy noble, he's awfully nice. Oh man, you should have you should have seen him when he was like when we first met him. Indeed, he's nowhere near as the terrible or he's nowhere near as terrible as the rumors I'd heard. Though I suppose they were about his younger days. Yeah, I can see him as a spoiled little brat. To be honest, he was kind of immature when we first met, but then again, so was I. We both really learned a lot over the two years we were at Thor together. He may not be from class 7, but he's a dear friend of mine. Whoa. A dear friend. Alright, we've got some missions to do. Let's start by confirming the Brigadier General's orders. Understood. Let's take a look here. Let's see, Oros Coastal Road Monster. We got a dangerous monster terrorizing the Oros Coastal Road. The Unified Region's Army hereby requests its extermination. Supreme Giant Isopod. Oh. Wait, hey, hey, who who named this? Yada yada yada. Estun. As a security measure, we're going to need uh, to inspect all the ships currently docked at the wharf. However, we don't have enough personnel to cover them all right now. Any help you could per you could give would be appreciated. See me in the harbor district for details. Estun. Love me jaded. Uh, I don't know what kind of a reference or joke that phrases. I, I, that has to be some kind of reference, but this, uh, I, I'm not familiar. I need help with preparations for uh, the summer festival. Uh, come to my old factory on North Street for more details. Strauss. Gasping for flair. Gasper. Some brigand has stolen my extremely precious and most valuable jewel. It must be recovered immediately. I'll be at the Hermit Inn, room 202 in Raquel. Don't make me wait, Gasper. Oh, long term. Oh, oh, oh man, oh, a lot of these are long term. Holy crap. Huh, now you can really hold off on these for a while. I see, so these are the orders proper? Well, variety is the spice of life, I suppose. Right, we're basically unpaid bracers. No, that's not it. The orders are meant to be. Wait. The orders are meant to uh, dovetail nicely with our special ops missions. Looks to me we'll need to head to the highway. Perhaps we should patrol orders first to get our bearings. Smart, we'll do that first, then hit the highway. We should make note of this too. Advisory, regarding potential Jaeger Corps activity in Lemaire. Over the past six months, there haven't been any confirmed reports of Jaeger Corps activity within the Empire. However, as the Imperial Provincial Council is being held in uh, Lemaire Province, uh, Lemaire Province, specifically Ortis, we would ask you to remain vigilant. If you witness any suspicious activity during your field exercises or special ops missions, please report it to the Unified Regions Army. That's the situation. Let's keep it in mind. 
Yeagers or no, we're probably going to be- we're going east to Raquel this afternoon. But before that, mind showing us around the city music? Gladly. Oh, but there's one thing I'd like to do first. Huh? What the? Music? Ah. Uh... Welcome to the capital of the La Mer province and the western coast's most renowned seaport. The port city, Ortis. Ah, uh, that's a nice little, like, scenic shot with, uh, music here. Like Crossbow, this place is too big to see all in one day. So why don't I familiarize you with the major districts? Please do. The first area you'll see when you arrive at the station is the business district. There you'll find hotels and department stores, including, apparently, a new shop from the capital. Hortensia? Riviera Court? Christmore! Hugo. Outside of that, there are three more areas of interest. There is North Street, which is lined with an assortment of shops. Next, there's the Nova District, as one would expect. It's positively uh, lousy with mansions. Lousy? The centerpiece being the Dukes. And last but not least is Ordis Port, which you can see below. I see. I imagine our orders are going to lead us, or lead us all over the city. At least there's a lot to look at. Yeah, but once we're done sightseeing, we got a monster to kill. Sounds to me we have a plan. So it's time to commence our field exercises here in La Mer province. As usual, I'm counting on you guys to take initiative. Right. I always do. Hmm. The group received an advisory. You can check your request at any time the quest tab of your notebook. The crucial investigation report can be viewed at the from the event tab of the item menu. Alright, we got a little ways to go here. Hello, old man. Is it the summer festival already? I was wondering why the city was so lively. Haha, <laughs> how delightful. Ordus is, uh, sorry, Ordus' summer festival is said to be the most beautiful event in all of Erebonia. I do hope, I do so hope you all enjoy it. I fear my head may be too clouded with the thoughts of the Imperial Provincial Council to do so myself. This year's council promises to be tumultuous, or tumultuous, but that's nothing for you to worry about. Relax and enjoy the festival. Oh. Trusilla? Huh. The western coast of Zemuria is often called the Coastal Region. This region includes the Lamer province, the Kingdom of Laburo to the south, and the uh, Jirai Sez to the north. And of course, at its center gleams Ordis, the port city. Every sea route across the region is said to lead. Wait. Is said to lead to Ordis. Ordis is the beating heart of the western coast. It's said that every sea route blah 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 eventually leads here. This is my first time seeing the ocean. This is so exciting. Can we get closer to it? Whoa, what a beautiful view. This is totally worth the 9 hour night train for the capital. I was tired but one look at this city awoke me right up. Ah, you're from Thor's Branch Campus. Allow me to welcome you to Thor's. You're in luck. With the summer festival going on, the town is really buzzing with activity. I encourage you to walk around and take in the sights. Wait, Count Althain? Oh! Oh! Instructor Mary's that. Oh! <laughs> oh shit! Oh yeah, yeah, because the uh, uh, Imperial <sighs> Provincial Council and all that, but because all the great houses and the noble families will pretty much be here, or at least as far as I know, right? Oh shoot! I can't believe that daughter of ours. She refuses every man we place before her, leaving a trail of broken hearts in her wake. She's turning 24 this year. I wish she would realize there are certain expectations of a young noble woman from an esteemed family. We may want to check into our hotel soon, my love. Tomorrow is the Imperial Provincial Council, and you want to be well rested. Uh, I'm well aware, but it's such a hassle to deal with these events every year. That last man was every bit a gentleman. Oh, Mary, what is it that you want in a suitor? <sighs> oh, man. 
My husband has no fondness for politics. However, as a noble, he's obligated to, to take part in the council. Now we have some preparations to make. After half a day trip from Sutherland, we're finally here. Now to get to the hotel so my lord can rest. I, I, again, it, it, it always gets me that our assault gauge can still fill while we're running around the city. They just hide it. Uh, hey, great one. How you doing? You open with an FG event? Ah. Yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm having a lot of fun uh, reading Cold Steel so far. Finally, in Ordis, after spending the past, like, what, two to three sessions reading Back in Leaves? Oh my god. Lots of dialogue, and also uh, with me switching up the games here and there, it has allowed me f a good amount of extra time <sighs> to get some off-stream grinding, which which has been really helpful coming around to now. So yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty set here. My small opened only recently, but it's clean, has great selection, and most importantly, it's cheap. I plan on heading back there today. Christ. Anyways, let's see. So the old man. I can see a boat way out there. Hey, Lynn Hall! <sighs> Quit it! You're so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> My father was supposed to have, uh, wait, was supposed to have joined me on this trip to Ordis, but something urgent came up and now here I am alone. I'm not in a big unknown city. What am I supposed to do now? Oh. The city's enormous. What's a girl to do? Oh, huh. That's worrying. Wait, any, uh, ah. I imagine there must be a story behind the statue. Of course. This is the blue undine. Wow. So this is an animus statue? Correct. She is believed to be the daughter of the Great Sea Spirit. During the Middle Ages, she was set to help protect the travelers on the high seas. Wow, since when were you a history teacher? Since the start of the school year, to be precise, and Shrek the Reen is very knowledgeable. One of his many attractive qualities- Oh my god! Let's not make a big deal out of this. Doesn't help that you're doing a self-imposed challenge or use event servants only. <laughs> uh... Power to you, Guilma. Uh, I just need to get my farming and dip out day to day. Okay, so that does it for the NPCs here. Now let's go trigger the sub events here. Honest does bookstore, RF store. Wow, that, oh my god, yeah, this place looks clean. Although, man, some of the security, that, that security guard, the sunglasses, oh my god, that looks so imposing. Kendall. Wow, this is such a nice store. I guess they don't call it a town of nobles for nothing. Oh, actually, this is quite small. It have it opened half a year ago, and if anything, it's more tailored for commoners. Really? Yeah, commoners have been showing a showing an interest in luxury goods lately. Quite small is pretty popular from what I've heard. Undine, Undine. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I haven't looked up the pronunciation. You can purchase anything with a 5% discount at Kleist Mall. Some of the exchange rates are higher at the RF store on the second floor. <gasps> what? I could have exchanged my stuff for- oh. Bro, I didn't think they'd actually... Increase the exchange rates here. Hey, are you guys shopping? This mall is awesome! Everything looks so modern here, I can't get enough! Best of all, it's cheap! You just can't beat this place. Uh, but that means supporting... Kleist and Co. You gotta go... You gotta go now? Alright, good one, thanks for popping in. I appreciate it, take care and good luck. Welcome to Kleist Mall. Is this your first time here? Haha, <laughs> I can tell. Our first time customers are always surprised by how wonderful we are. And on top of that, our prices are lower than any department store. I encourage you to browse around. I'm sure you'll find everything to your satisfaction. Our prices are lower than any other department store. They just can't keep up with the times. Of course we're better. 
as Kleisen Co. is constantly buying up businesses left and right and whatever other underhanded schemes they've been using to rebrand Calvardian products as other kinds of products to get like better deals. And they're also like cozy with the government to kind of let certain gray area dealing slide and all that shit or however the hell things are going down with the government and Kleisen Co. Yeah! No wonder! Oh, I just thought by out of curiosity, but this place isn't too bad. Seems like they have all the popular novels here. Oh, this one's one of the series I like. They got the latest entry. Guess I'll pick it up. Heh, the, se the selection here isn't bad. My father hates this place, so I have to come here in secret. Oh. Clay Small is perfectly secure. Let us know if you run into any issues. Okay. It's a good selection, right? We get the newest publications the same day they come out in the capital. Plus, we're working with, the pu with publishing companies to schedule events, uh, such as autograph signings. Our sales are on fire! Gifts that come with uh, magazines and autograph signings. I have other ideas too. Oh my god, everything is on. Ah, uh, I have to buy- Why is the Black Records here?! Oh, here's the Proverbs thing. Uh, I was like, I was wondering why I was in a shop right now. Hello, we have a fine selection for cheap. That's right. Unlike the older folk, I worked hard to get where I am. Aha, uh -huh. this is the power of, of the Kleist Association. I haven't heard about the Becky Association, though. Look at these prices. Aren't they better than the, uh... Than the ones set by those older antiqui uh, antiquated people. Bro, 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 bro. I, I get the noble, uh, at least like those kinds of nobles have set a bad example, but it's like, bro, bro, bro. You don't have to lord it over about how much better we are than the old fashioned nobles. Oh, man. Ah, uh, I didn't get royalty for a gift though. Pocky. Or Pecky. A stick shaped snack that's popular in the port. Oh, that's why it's called Pecky. <gasps> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Time out! Spicy Pocky? Or Pecky? Alright. Dude, that's one way to uh, screw with people. Just like open up a pack of Pocky and it's like spice flavored. It's delicious. You don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the RF store, Ordis Branch. We work directly with RF. We have a fine selection, but our main, main priority is super speedy service. Super speedy? How intriguing. <laughs> it's nothing too crazy. It's just that we provide all of our services at super speed. We deliver all of our larger, larger world appliances the same day, and we do same day repairs when needed. We also have our own airship, which is which is how we can provide such deliveries. Ah, uh, Capital Delivery Service has competition. That's pretty crazy, but is it is this or is it all really necessary? Optimizing convenience sets it sets it apart from other stores. Compact juicer. Easy to use and wash. Mini juicer runs on over energy. Ah. Oh, new shit. Excel boost. Oh, oh, wait. No, it doesn't have movement to it. So, oh. But. Oh, I want the dodge though. Well, actually, if anything... So that's 20... Oh, 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 oh.
Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. This has speed on it. No, no. This has to go on everyone. Holy crap. Dude. Seven speed on everyone? Oh, my God. That's almost an action two worth of speed right there. Oh, right, uh, what, 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 what button was it? Oh, here. Hello there, Irene. You found some new records? Yeah, I'll send you what, I'll send you what I have for you to analyze. Very well. I'll start deciphering them. Leave it to me. Understood. Thanks. All right. Now uh, for the court. Riviera Court is really or er, is a really famous department store in Ordis. It's a department store comprised of a noble run businesses that was established about twenty years ago. They say there isn't a single product you can't find at wait. You can't find it at one of the stores. With that in mind, it doesn't seem all that popular. Yeah, I'm guessing there's a reason for that. Oh, wait, is everything gonna be like ridiculously priced here? Things are cheaper at Clyde Small, but the quality isn't as good. I heard rumors to the contrary, though. I wonder why. I'm really curious. I compared the products here with those at Clyde Small, but I, and I don't see any drop in quality. Hmm, now I'm curious. Oh, you're... Aren't you the one who helped me in Parm? Oh, that's right. I'm glad we... Oh, right. Oh, that's right. I'm glad we can get that wallet uh, wallet back to you. It's good to see you again. Are you on another family trip? We've come to sightsee around the orders for the summer festival. The Imperial Provincial Council is going on too, but I couldn't care less about that. I'm just helping Helena shop today. I hope Luna isn't too bored. Welcome. We pride ourselves on listening to our customers to concoct the perfect medicine for their needs. In addition, we provide express delivery for those who can't make it here themselves. We've served some some of the finest nobles, among many others, uh, others over the years. Let us handle your medicinal needs. See, compared to Clyde Small, we are a little more expensive, but people enjoy our courtesy services. We hope to, uh, we hope you continue to support us here at the uh, Hereford Drugstore. Hereford, yeah, yeah. Aromic ton. Oh my god, there's so many gifts. It wait, shampoo with a refreshing texture and aroma for Ash. Huh. Hey, Doctor Mishi. Well, I got a lot of gifts to give. Uh, hello, are you looking for some clothes? We carry the highest quality goods. You'll be hard pressed to find them anywhere else. So, please, can you uh, buy something for me? Huh, what's wrong with her? I'm, uh, er, uh, I'm not actually a salesperson. I'm actually just a servant at a certain manner, but the salesperson was hired by Clyce Mall and, uh, help my lady. I don't really get what's going on, but. She seems to be having a hard time. Ah, uh, my lady, huh? Brown hair for Muse. Oh, wait. Oh, so this one, instead of seven speed, it's strength and arch strength for men and women only. But then, no, that is that is so not worth it. No, seven speed, no, that's like immensely more valuable than just seven strength or arch strength. What? Craft boots. I'm sorry. As, as much as I, uh, as much as I am starting to uh, really dislike Kleist and Cove now that we know Hugo's uh, true side and everything. 
unfortunately, as a consumer, we kind of got to see that, you know, we do have the superior products here. Come back to me when you offer, like, 20 speed. Oh. Again, why would you ever do this? Oh, my God. 50k. Huh. Interesting, they don't even sell the emblems. We have 200 years of history, but now all of our customers are going to this new store. This can't be possible. It can't be. Ah, what should we do? Marion's rum? Very rare and very valuable. Oh. Sea salt pecky. Ah. Seesaw pocket? Oh, interesting. Oh, is there no, uh, oh, there's no upper floor either. Just the uh, tall and stuff. Alright. So let's go give the, uh, the gifts here. Isn't this one of those new over juicers? I can't accept this. I really like if you would. This is to show my gratitude for all your hard work. You know how to cook, so I'm sure you get good use of it, out of it. Hmm, well if you insist. Alright, I'll make you a smoothie next time then, instructor. Did anybody see that bond that bond increase? I I could even see it. Or most likely it increased before I even showed it. Ooh, extra hundred HP. Oh, huh. I bet this I bet this will do my hair some good. Anyway, why'd you want to give me this out of the blue? Ash, I know about all the hard work you do when no one's looking. Just do me a favor and accept it as a thank you. Man, everything you say is so damn annoying. Oh uh, well, I'll use it at least. So, thanks. Boop. I should send Princess off in a gift. I hope she'll like it. Alrighty. That should do it for the business district. Oh, wait, wait, uh, we didn't check out the hotel yet. Welcome to, ho uh, Hotel, uh, Hortensia? Yeah, welcome to Hotel Hortensia. Oh, you're just students. There are some commoners in your group, too. I can't really say you're the right clientele for our establishment. What, are commoners not allowed to stay here or something? No, that isn't the case exactly, but... He seems annoyed. In order to stay at this hotel, you you used to need an invitation from a baron or higher. That rule was abolished after the Civil War, but I'm sure they have mixed feelings about it. Ahem, everything in our hotel is top of the line. The summer festival going on is going on right now, so I don't know if we have any room for students. But if you were to stay at our hotel, I'm sure you'd be really happy. <laughs> Man, that is one way to treat like your new customers. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> It's like, oh, just some students and commoners. I'm like, motherfucker, I, I, I know you used to be, like, a uh, really fancy, sh or you're still a really fancy schmancy hotel, but I mean, times have changed. I don't think you can maintain that mindset anymore. So, how about that information? As an old Croissant province, I'm unfamiliar with the political situation here. I'll need the Marquis to help me with my business in the future. Yes, we are business partners, but this situation is an ideal ever since I dog of the government assumed this position. Dog of the government? Oh, are they talking about Rufus? Our hotel is owned by the Kayan House, and is the most prestigious hotel in the Empire. The western rooms have an ocean view, and we offer full course meals. I wonder how much a suite costs. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, the, the microphone didn't pick it up, but uh, people are setting off fireworks again to end off the Lunar New Year's. Dude! Oh my god! <laughs> oh wait, actually wait, in the distance I'm hearing it from... 
Oh no, I think I know. What, I think I know what's, uh, where that's going on. We probably call ourselves the best hotel in the empire. Please enjoy your stay. Ah, oh, a good break. Fatigue removed. Damn. Okay, what's this way? All the nobles seem to be in a rush. I hope that you all have a relaxing time at our hotel. Oh, the little girl must be over here. Oh, never mind that. Wait, didn't they say, uh... Oh no, was that Charlotte over by the... No, no, the, they said... No, no, that's a different girl. Uh, th that girl said her dad w had to was delayed, so she's stuck in the city by herself. Okay, now then, where is? Never mind then. Lady Illyria. All my husband talks about is his business. All he does is follow Count. Uh, Car. Car. Wait. H how do you pronounce his name? Wait, uh, you know what? I just, I'll just call him. Wait. Wait. Car. Carlisle? Carlo? Uh. Ah, I sound Carl. Carl. <laughs> he is the head of ha uh, House Wagner. I wish he would show a little more dignity. Also, how are you doing, Bretsu? Names are hard. <laughs> uh. Let's go Noble District. Wow. St. Arc was pretty and all, but this is the embodiment or er, embodiment of magnificence. There's a reason this place is so popular with the nobility. Look at all those er, look at all those mansions. Compensating much. Look at that. There's that's uh that was more than or er, more castle than mansion. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, you need a whole like you need a whole squad of like maids and butlers to maintain that place. Oh my god. That's the Kyan estate. The former the former home of the Duke pulling the strings during the Civil War. And that of the largest noble- wait. And that of the largest noble house in the Empire. Huh. That's right. I imagine Dukayan is a sensitive subject for the people of Ordis. Everyone see- everyone sees him a little differently. But they'd all tell you that his imprisonment of the Imperial family was nothing short of a- short of a disaster. And that he deserved his arrest. How could he have done something so foolish? Things like that. I see. The way I see it, if it didn't blow up in his face, the nobles, he, the nobles would be singing his praises right now. By the way, sounds like Duke Hyan's mansion is going to be the site of the Imperial Provincial Council, meaning that this should be a good district for us uh, to patrol. Agreed. And with the cathedral so close, I imagine this area will draw a sizable crowd. Shall we get going? Beckford. I've already, or I've already had to sell twenty of my favorite boats. I've never heard anything, uh, anything more appalling. Oh my god, dude, this is like, this, is, this really is like the stereotypical rich person of like, how many yachts, or yachts do you own? Holy crap! I had to sell twenty of them. Can you believe the audacity of them? This new tax system is absurd! They're bullying nobles into paying out the nose! Damn you, Marquis Ballad! Damn you, Imperial Government! Oh. I had to rid myself of some of the merchant ships my grandfather passed down to me! Aside from that little head start, I'm a self made man! Well. Be a little angry. Wait! Oh! 
more on the household. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Vincent and Ferris. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll check the buildings later. I need to talk to the NPCs. So, who dis? I'm waiting for my beloved. Mercedes, will I see you this year? Wait, Heathcliff? Haven't- have we seen a Heathcliff somewhere before in the earlier trails? And a Mercedes? I feel like we've seen those NPCs before. Or at least seen Mercedes. I, I feel like I've seen their names at least once in one of the earlier games. Was it like... Was it Sky or the Crossbow games? I feel like it... I feel Actually, no, maybe it, maybe we might have seen them in the crossbow games as like a passing roaming NPC or something. Well met, before you stands the Cayenne Estate. Head left, you're bound for Ar uh, Aros Costa Road. That building on the hill is Duke Cayenne's mansion. It's high enough to let him look down on the rest of us. Of course, he claimed the best view of the bay for himself. And unlike we lower nobles, he's only gotten richer and richer since the war. Huh? Is it wrong to be jealous of a man in prison? Bro, really? Before you stands the mansion of Duke Kayan. We, uh, we've redoubled security since the uh, Imperial Provincial Council is coming up soon. If you do not have an appointment, I'm afraid you I'm afraid I must ask you to leave. Okay. I think Marcus Ballard has done an admirable job of rising to meet his role as interim overseer, though I must admit I'm oddly jealous. the road. Okay. So now let's go hit up this mansion. Hey, Oliver. Why do Papa and Mama fight so much? Oh, well, um, uh, that's... <laughs> How silly, dear one. I'm afraid you're quite mistaken. The Lord and Lady are madly, passionately in love. Yes, that's it. Are you sure? Oh, she's gonna have the wrong idea. Young lady, you truly are sharp. Tis both a blessing and a curse. But fear not, I, Oliver, will do all I can to give you peace of mind. Why are Papa and Mama always fighting? Oh. Uh oh. Alright, what's the drama here? Ramona. Gountain. Do you remember the Saphir we found in our territory? Well, I'd like to talk to you about it, uh, er, about the mining rights. I take it uh, Marcus Ballet wants them. That, that is correct, yes. But his ascendance to dukedom is all but assured at this point. He promised me, he promised me a position of distinction. No, my love. But, but why? This might be our only chance. Which is exactly why you need to think about this. Do you understand how many noble families were uh, were brought low by the war? The collapse of a noble family doesn't just affect the lives of those within it, but the lives of all under their care. You must consider the people in your charge. My wife gave me another earful. I was so sure she'd be thrilled, but... There are many noble families that have fallen in La Mer, but the number is steadily increasing. You hear stories about people being forced to leave their homes after conglomerate companies buy up their nobles' land. It disgusts me think, to think of nobles selling their land. They owe the people in their, or in their care all the stability they can offer. Aww. Anyone else up here? Nope. It is empty. We need to decorate the summer f for the summer festival and prepare for mass. Oh, that's right. I wanted to pass out snacks to the children. I need to pick out a recipe and get permission from Bishop Ro or Bishop Robbins. Oh, Trat, why didn't I do this yesterday? Why am I so bad at planning things? I can't worry about that now. I need to hurry. Summer festival honors the arrival of the season. 
In the coastal provinces, we have a huge celebration to mark the start of the season. We traditionally hold masses at the church as well. We need to be well prepared. The council is not the place to talk about... Wait. It's not the place to talk about each house's concessions. I believe it's where we should discuss how nobles should carry themselves. Quite so, your, or your lordship. You're as prudent as ever. But in this day and age, we can't be so passive. <sighs> I shall leave all those discussions to you. Marcus uh, Regan is the head of the prestigious House Regan of the uh, Cosa Provinces. He's known for his upstanding character, but I wonder how he will act during the council. I'm just an old timer. You young folks should do as you please. However, I would like for the upper class to realize just exactly what it means to be a noble. It looks as though the majority are going with Marcus Ballin. Sir Reagan, uh, you're neutral now, but will you side with us? I guarantee you won't lose anything from this. Hmm. Welcome to the Order's Cathedral. It was built over 600 years ago. The Lord at the time had it built as part of a large-scale development plan. Since then, this has been a place of healing for many people in the coastal province. Oh, whoops. Uh, let's see. Uh, everyone, please come by if anything is troubling you. May Adius protect you. Oh, your... Your music, correct? I haven't seen you in a while. I apologize, Archbishop. It has been far too long. <laughs> It's fine. You were attending the girls' school in Heindal, so it's completely understandable. If you're ever in trouble, Adios is watching over you. And you're always welcome to visit the church. Yes, er, yes, thank you. Oh, the Archbishop seems so kind. <laughs> yes, he's famous throughout the Lemaire province for his compassion. My father was a friend of his, so I used to come here a lot as a, ch as a child. Now let's send our prayer to the goddess. There seems to be turbulence in the pews. Adios has a very keen sense of hearing, and I'm sure she'll hear you out. Uh, I'm very sorry, Archbishop. Uh, my apologies. It's quite alright. Come back again sometime to worship. He's good at warning people. You can really tell that he's full of compassion. Uh... They honestly really should discuss whatever they're discussing inside their own private homes. Alright, let's see. The Florod residence. Let me see. Oh, Ferris Ray. Wait, is this. Yeah, that's Kara. Wait, where is. Wait. Where? Oh, we can't see them. Oh. Actually, maybe I should talk to uh, Kara first. Those military academies branch campus, I've heard rumors about you. Last month you helped maintain the peace in the Crossbow Province. I'm sure the people will be at least uh wait will be at least a little more relieved with you around. Good luck. This mansion is owned by the Floral uh, Floral household. We're a little busy, but if you need anything from us, please let me know. I shall be heading out now, Rennie. But my lady. You shouldn't go alone. Don't worry. I am a graduate of a military academy. With that shop opening here, I can't simply rest on my laurels. I need to be proactive. Okay, time out. Whose voice actor is this? Wait, she sounds so familiar. Unless it's the same voice actor. Wait. I shall be heading out now, Rennie. Don't worry. I am a graduate of a military academy. With that shop opening here, I can't simply rest on my laurels. Okay, okay, hold on. Uh, Brittany Avery. Wait, what, what else did she do? Oh, oh, she also voiced Fiona. <laughs> Uh, 
what? Wait, is that all a? Wait, is that all she voiced? Uh, I'm looking at. Wait. Oh. Huh. This woman is. Huh? Oh, a customer? Huh? Reen? <laughs> Long time no see, Ferris. Welcome to Ordis, everyone from Thor's Branch Campus. I'm Ferris Florov, eldest daughter. Daughter? <laughs> Oh, come on! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Eldest daughter of uh, Count Florald. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Wow, she's so beautiful. Or she's beautiful. Let me guess. She's yet another one of your old schoolmates, huh, Teach? <sighs> Don't say it like that. Or, sorry, hey, don't say it like that. She was in the same class as Patrick, and they were always competing with all of us in class 7. My, that certainly takes me back. I was also in the lacrosse club with Elisa. She was my rival at first, but before I knew it, we had become best friends. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> She's kind of cute. You two will probably get along. You both joined sports clubs after all. By the way, have you kept in touch with Elisa? Yes, quite often, actually. She's helping me with an issue that I'm dealing with right now. An issue, you say? Uh, how should I put this? My lady is the is the manager of a uh, Rivi or uh, wait, Rivera? Oh yeah, uh, it's, uh, I think I was mispronouncing it, but yeah, Rivera Court, a huge shopping mall in Ordis. Rivera Court? Did we see it earlier? I see. If I remember correctly, Rivera Court is co-owned by no by multiple noble families, correct? Yes, and the Flora family is one of the primary investors. However, since the Kleist Mall opened up half a year ago, our sales have nosedived. I was put in this position to help uh, Re Revere Court recover. Kleist Mall? Isn't it run by Hugo's family? Looks like things are pretty complicated. I haven't seen him since graduation, but I'm cognizant of his abilities. And this Hugo person is another one of his classmates. My father should be the one doing this, but he has his hand full of, uh, hands full of politics. My brother is focusing on managing our territory. I see. I guess nobles don't have don't necessarily have it easy. If anything, they are feeling the weakening of the uh, noble power structure. Yes, precisely. Not to mention we're up against Kleist Mall. That just adds to the complexity of, the, of our situation. Well, what am I doing? I shouldn't be talking about this with my customers. Please don't mind me. I'm currently pre preparing countermeasures. May you, have a may you have good fortune with your field exercises. If you need anything, please buy from us. Yes, thank you. I'm so sorry for buying from Kleist. Sorry for bothering you when you're so busy. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Now if you'll excuse me. See you later, everyone. So Reen's old classmate and the daughter of uh, Count Floral, currently currently the manager of uh, Revere Court, but she's having difficulties. Thank you everyone for coming today. Thanks to all of you, my lady has smiled uh, for the first time in a great while. It's not like we did anything. She seems really busy. Is she always like that? Yes, we've always worried about her. My lady is getting busier by the day. If it's not too much trouble, would you please talk to her? My, er, Master is really focused on preparing for the Imperial Provincial Council. It's good that he's focused, but he can lose sight of things sometimes. It's quite worrisome. I should bring him some tea and snacks later. Hmm, the main topic of the Imperial Provincial Council will probably be... What to deal with the Imperial Government, at least for the first day. With so many conflicting factors, the proceedings won't have a good flow. I, er, I mean, will all four of the Great Houses even participate? This is truly mind-boggling. Ferris went out. I suppose we can leave her be for now. This year she's turning 20 years old. We need to start thinking about her marriage soon. If we're not careful, she may fall in the footsteps of Count Althame's daughter. There's so many things to worry about. Hey! 
Instructor Mary is happy. Kobe and the Mysterious Museum. Oh. Okay, well, actually, we'll go read... Because, like, what was it? I still got some of the other stuff to read. But we'll we'll read everything in one go later, once I kind of got a lot of the other dialogue sorted out. So I'll read it in one go at a more convenient time, especially with the, what, Imperial Chronicle we have right now. It, yeah, so we still got Immortal Hero, or Immoral, not Immortal, sorry. Kobe. Uh, yeah, so Chronicle. Uh, Kobe and Immoral. <sighs> I'll read them all a little bit later. Alright, so now there's the harbor. Harbor and North Street. Uh, nah, you know what? Let's cut by through here. I, oh, actually, wait, hold on. Is Ferris inside here? Ah, what she have to say? Oh wait, is it true? Oh, my lady. Oh, listen closely, Citrine. There's no need to overwrap. Ke uh, just keep things simple and elegant. Remember, good customer service leads to increased customer satisfaction. I'll try. I'm just so bad at talking with customers. You won't have to do it for much longer now. Stay strong and try your best. Uh, Revere Court has a long storied history, but many of our traditions are antiquated. We need to gradually enact this series of reforms and increase our profit margins. I'm not really a salesperson, but though, and also, never mind. Alright. Out to the harbor. Man, this place really does look nice. Whoa! Looking at it from here, this really is a huge port city. There are tons of large ships, freighters, and uh, it looks like there are private yachts too. They say that more freight pass through here than just about anywhere else on the continent. One can see why this place is called the Root of Lemaire's Abundance. So, phony locks. Don't you have a ship? Her locks aren't phony. <laughs> My grandfather owns one commercial ship and one freighter. That's about it. Many nobles have had to let go of the ships recently. I heard many of the owners are from the capital. I see. I guess that's a sign of the times. Hmm. We have requests and there should be a sailor bar around here. Might be a good idea to go there to gather information for our investigation. I see. Understood. Now, let's start gathering information. Ah, uh, picture time. This really is a good, uh... Oh, this or the wharf really has a special air about it. Huh. It's perfect for picking up chicks. The cow with a pretty face and not much going on upstairs. Wow. You and your remarks. In any case, if you uh, if you all wouldn't mind giving me and in, uh, the instructor some private time, you never stop either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, this is quite a view. Maybe I'll take a landscape photo for Vivi. Perfect. I'll send this to Vivi later. Supreme. No. Oh wow. Nice. I'll send you your reward. Hmm. I wonder what the photos are gonna be this time around. I'm guessing a photo of Ferris. And. Hmm. Ferris and I'm not sure what the second photo would be. <laughs> Man, those things sure like to squawk. I guess seagulls are everywhere here. Wait. Annabelle. <laughs> Annabelle. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, Angelo. Heading home for the first time in two weeks? Yeah. I promise to take my little brother Luca around during the summer festival. I'm really looking forward to it. By the way, is is all the fright uh, organized? There seems to be quite a bit of... Or, there seems to be a bit of delay. Yeah, we're rushing to handle it now. There's always a rush before the summer festival. I need... Excuse me. I need all the help I can get. Hmm, sounds like I should help too. If you don't get all this sorted out, it's going to cause problems for the union as well. I need all the help I can. Sounds like I should help too. Okay, I get it. Uh, Nigel? I don't give you information on the sightseeing sightseeing cruise that departs in the afternoon. A lot of the cruise ships that leave from uh, this wharf sail around the port. Luxurious rides that, uh, like that really draw the tourists. A lot of the cruise ships... Oh, wait. Uh, that's a, is that the same? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's one of the best ways to go sightseeing here in Ordis. I heard the ship goes out near that deserted island. That's so cool. Oh. Oh. Oh! That's where Ouroboros were meeting before, weren't they? In the start of the intro scene to chapter 3. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I'm so excited. Okay. Good to hear. Also, wait, wait, did I talk to you? Man in suit. Once we get permission to drop anchor, we can unload and... And what? What are you going to do with the boat? There's a school of fish. Oh, hello there. I didn't expect I'd run into all of you here. Oh, you're the one we met in Sutherland. Annabelle, right? You mentioned you're on a trip uh, on a trip to fish all over the Empire, right? How's that been? Yes, well about that. I have a new goal now. The Imperial Fishing Club will be holding an exhibition match with the Fishman's Guild. As a professional angler, I need to make sure I have I have a good showing there. I need to polish my skills as much as possible before then. She does seem to be acting a bit more professional. Her goal may have changed, but what she's doing what she's actually doing is exactly the same. Huh. There's some weird nobles out there. Unfortunately, I don't have much experience with sea fishing. However, I'm going to continue training until I've mastered it. Uh, the fish aren't biting uh, quite so much in the city. I hear the uh, Oris Coastal Road to the south is rather nice. I think I head over there this evening. Alright, fishing! There! Got a bite! This is promising. Oh, spiky puffer. Annabelle. Hmm, the fish in the fish uh, over the port aren't biting as much. I got it. Me, Irene. <laughs> Our droplet? What else do they drop? Ah. Fire Sepith, 30. Eh. I love power droplets though. There. Nice. Got a bite. This is promising. Awesome, oh, big crab, queen crab. Not bad at all. Ah, uh, no, no, cobalt crab. Oh, and that's not a new one. There. Got a bite. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's the as a fish, right? Got it! No. Oh, whoa, well, whoa. Well, I mean, so I was sort of right. Queen Azelfish. Holy crap, that's huge. Oh, that's where you get brave seeds! And you just drop raw Sepith mass. Changes color the larger it grows. Said to evolve from the strongest fish in school. Huh. There. Got a bite. This is promising. Not bad at all. There. Got a bite. This is promising. I wonder if there's a fourth fish here, because we caught three different kinds right now. Not bad at all. So the cobalt crab, queen azelfish, and the uh, spiky puffer.
So now we just need... Or assuming there's at least four different kinds here, there, there. should be one more left. New or old. Oh shit. I got away. There. Got a bite. Oh. This is promising. Oh, it's a big one. I got it. Holy crap. Forest Gill. Ah. Just tons of wind sepith. Ah. Okay, so I think I got all the fish here. I'll go one more time though. I want that brave there. seed. Got a bite. Is this the one that drops the brave seed? This is promising. It's a whopper. It's a whopper. Now it's power droplet. Wait, what was it again? Ah, uh, Queen Azerfish. Uh, although I can't remember there. the exact size of the timing window to pick got out whether or not it's the Queen Azerfish. I think it has to be a bit smaller. It has to be a bit smaller. Got a bite. Like this one. <laughs> nice. Or no, that's the. Uh... It's a right. whopper. Okay, that's too small of a timing window. There. A little bit bigger. Got a bite. Like this one. This is promising. No, that's a cobalt crab. Not bad at all. There. Come on. Got a bite. <laughs> nice. There we go. Whoa. Turbo mode. It's a whopper. There we go. Okay, another brave seed. Well, at least we have a way to farm them now. Wait, brave seed, brave soul. Oh. Oh, we're just popping like a uh, soul and dark souls. Holy shit. Hold the soul up in your hand in the air, just crush it, you get 5 BP like that. Hey, Claire, why is the sea blue? And why is the sky blue? I, I, I was so tempted to say, what makes the sky blue? <laughs> uh. Why, tell me. Well, my lady, the goddess likes the color blue. Just kidding. Wait. Oh, isn't Luna the same girl that has her, uh, where her dad was teasing her about like lying about things all the time? I was like, oh, just kidding. Oh my god, it's the same. Why does the goddess like the color blue? I saw this coming. The skies and the seas are huge in this town, but why are they both blue? I'm not good at talking to Lady Luna. I hope my master and lady come back soon. Oh! Oh! Right, these two were... Oh, that was their fa the family in the store. Right. Oh, hello there. I have a feeling I... I have a feeling you know your horses. I do, actually. I'm the vice president of a well-known riding club called Nines. How about I lend you some of our horses? It'll make for an excellent way to promote our club. Then we all win. We or we'd be happy to take you up on your offer. <laughs> it's only a month away, Wonder. Show us what you're made of. Right. I'll make sure to clean off every last crumb off my plate. What are you talking about? I'm saying the summer festival prizes up for grabs next month. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were talking about the uh, uh mega paella uh, on the secret menu. Mega Paella. Okay, now I got it. I got to check this out. Oh, hey, welcome. <laughs> Sorry about all the noise. The customers can get rowdy, but they're all nice people, so order away. Wow, this is a lot. You're like a mom to all of us. Oh no, no, stop it. I don't want such big kids. <laughs> it's so lively. A tavern. This is my first time coming to a place like this. Fisherman's Paella. Are you a student? Make sure you eat a lot. The customers can get pretty rowdy, but they're all nice people. If they find any trouble, just let me know. I'll be there in no time, with a rolling pin in hand. 
Wait, oh dude, look at these muscles. Oh, that's what it was this? Is this the usual like... I'm guessing... Okay, I don't know what like is being wrapped in there, but some kind of lettuce wrap with tied up with bacon? <laughs> oh, whoops. Uh, I, I, I meant to check this one out. Seafood boil. Seasoned rice with the best shellfish available cooked into it. Oh man, that, that actually sounds really good. Wait. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. We, we haven't visited North Street. North Street could have another recipe. Because I'm pretty sure we talked with everyone so far. Alright, let's go. Let's begin. Let's go make some peculiar dishes first. Ugh, what is this? Abominable rice. 600 EP near death. Wait, wait, I need to see this shit. Wait, meat jawbreaker. An invincible ball of meat so condensed and cooked it feels like metal. Ugh. How do you fuck up that belly? <laughs> a burnt pile of what was at one time rice will disappear completely if it encounters a single gust of wind. <laughs> oh my god. I, I got, got this, this in, in the bag. bag. Mm hmm. It's perfect. What a oh shit, shit, no, wrong, wrong. I, I keep forgetting you can't, you can't press down. I keep forgetting you can't press down, uh, and also I should just go left here and instead. I keep forgetting it wraps around like that. <laughs> Let's begin. <laughs> Allow me to prepare something. <laughs> this turn What? Bro, no one prov- Oh, I, I have to wait to get Yusus or Gaius or Sarah or whoever else to cook. Oh, <laughs> shut up, Varetsu. <laughs> oh, my ingredients. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. It's so busy. They pay well here, which is why I applied. But every time I ship docks, a load of, or loads of customers come in. I have no clue, is this hard? I'm so exhausted. Miranda, the sailor bar. Or Miranda, the sailor bar. The food they feed me is good and the pay is good, but it's just always so busy, I'm exhausted. Uh, hey, I used to get some good food every day. Nah, nah, I can't imagine. When's the Maria Trade Conference? Uh, calling out to all countries. The possibility of cover being left out. Hmm, I don't really get it, but things don't seem to be going so well. Uh, every time I come back to orders, things with the Republic seem to get worse. Wait. Wait, is this backwards? Wait, also, does that say free? Wait. Uh, is there like... Hold on. You can obtain and earn... Dinner sets, watches, ladies, water, waterproof sewing kits. Uh, I can't, I can't tell what the rest of the texture is. Uh, also, holy crap, that leather shoe. Oh my god. Wait, wait, hold, hold up. Why is that leather shoe so fucking pointy? Look at that! Oh my god! Okay... <gasps> what happened to that shoe? Wait, what is that drawing of that, like, muscular dude with, like, twig legs, like, uh, over there in the middle of the right page? Near, or uh, to the left of the leather shoe. What the fuck? What is this drawing? <laughs> What is 
See, there's a difference between corsets made exactly right okay. and corsets made just to sell. Uh, where will uh, soon betray their secrets? Warner's uh, 98 models are correct, up to date, not only in name, but in all that makes a corset wearable. Sold, wait, sold by all dealers in dry goods. One dollar, a dollar twenty-five. Wait, a dollar, dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty, dollar seventy-five. Bro, they're not even using Mira. Okay. Oh yeah, pianos, 155, organs, 25 up. We lead others follow- Beethoven? Beethoven's confirmed in trails! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god. Now... Wait. Wait, is this a legit website? Wait, 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 time out, time out! HTTP squiddo.com free vintage advertisements collage sheets. Is that a legit site? <laughs> Dude, that was so funny they set that up. Uh, let's see. Auto harp? Easy to play, easy to buy. Silk? Perfection? Wait. Wait, wait a second. Who is. Gray hair restored in 10 days. Wait. A merry meal makes good digestion. There's delight in health. Wait. There's delight in health in no. a dish of Van Camps. Something, something, pork and beans. Prepare with tomato sauce. Always ready to eat. Delicious. Uh. Four, no, oh, I feel like I'm taking an eye test here, man. Can't read that shit. <laughs> Dude, the, oh my god, the, the newspaper. The seafood here is wonderful, and being, or, and being by the coast doesn't hurt either. I can't wait to see where we eat tonight. Dude, I... Uh, Dude, the only seafood here is the mussels. Where's the fish? Or where's the other fish? All we see is the usual lettuce wrap and, uh, with bacon. And like the... Is that like a hamburg steak or something on top of rice? With like... What's that? What's that supposed to be on like above the lettuce wraps there? Is that supposed to be like some kind of crackers for the soup there? Ha ha ha! Family vacations are nice. Should we go on a cruise or sail on a yacht? Last night my father decided to take decided on a whim to take us on a trip to Ordus. It's fun and all, but he didn't plan anything. Wait, is that all for here? All right. Oh my god, that that newspaper though. Uh, okay, it's like funny little details like that, because I'm sure like the art team is like, okay, we need a newspaper project. Just write whatever on it. Make it look like a newspaper. <laughs> uh, doesn't have to be more accurate. Hey, this is the port storehouse management union. We handle all the logistics in this harbor. All the loading and unloading has to go through us. It's a huge responsibility. We may have machines, but the car keto cargo is muscles. As long as you got, as long as you, blah, blah, blah. As long as you got muscles, you can carry anything. <sighs> muscles are the best. Okay. Okay, sir. Make sure to train your muscles. I'm sure Wayne would love to meet with you. 
And maybe Kairi. What the? Ash? Huh. Judah, is that you, little bro? What are you doing here? What do you mean, what, I'm do what am I doing here? I'm working, duh. I do deliveries and orders now. And uh, Rocco, they don't, they don't let kids work. Even if they're really good like me. Oh, you're making money, huh? Sounds like you're growing up, you little crybaby. Stop calling me that. That was a long time ago. <laughs> How cute. Do you know him? He was one of the neighborhood kids. He lived with his little sister and grandma. And about the look of things, I guess they're doing just fine. Aww. So anyway, Ash, even with that uniform on, you saw the face of a criminal. Huh, whatever. I just need to get back to work. You probably get paid by delivery, don't you? That's right, I need to be more efficient or I'm not gonna get paid. Hey guys, would you want- we saw getting in my way? Huh, jeez. Oh. Oh, right, uh, Esten's the request here. Alright. Are you Mr. Esten? We're from Thor's Branch Campus, and have accepted your request. Oh, you guys are. Well, yeah, we really need a helping hand. Can you guys start it right away? Could you tell us the details first? Ah, good point. I hear you'd like us to help with the, sh uh, the ship inspections. Inspections, huh? You want us to look for suspicious cargo on the ships. That's the gist of it, but thorough inspections would take too much time. So I'd like to ask you to help out or help us out with them. Or wait, help us out with them instead. What do you say? Huh, what should we do then? Sure. Sure, we can help right away. Great, now let me give you the, de the details. So we'd like to help- or we'd like you to help us out with inspecting the ships that are anchored at the docks. There are two main tasks. The first is to look through everything to make sure nothing is suspicious. The second is to collect docking fees. Ah uh, yes, the docking fees. How much do we ask for? Well, that depends on the volume of the ship. There are five sizes. Small, semi-medium, medium, semi-large, semi and large. Small, semi, medium, semi, large. Oh, okay, that's... Wait, semi, medium, okay, okay. Wow, that's a lot of sizes. Why do you mention that? It wasn't always like this. The regulations recently changed. Also, the volume of the ship should be written on the registration papers. I feel like I should write this down. But you know what? I'll trust my brain to remember everything. And the good old message log. <laughs> so, please ask the ship's owners for their registration papers. Understood. What if the owner isn't nearby? Well, there should be a there should be contact information on the ship. Just contact the owners and then proceed with the inspection. If you see any new ships arrive, I want you to inspect them as well. This is gonna take a while. To organize the procedure, first, contact the ship's owner. Second, inspect the cargo and confirm the registration. Third, receive payment according to the ship's size. Is that the correct workflow? Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, and one last thing. Once you finish your inspection, please put a sticker on the ship uh, to mark that it's been checked. Here's a stack of them. Here, see the stack of inspection stickers. Alright, good luck. Just leave it to us. Yada, yada, yada. That's not too bad. No one's here. Then let's check out check the contact info and they contact the ship's or the ship owner and confirm the cargo and the registration of the ship. I know it's a precaution because of the provincial council, but these inspections are so bothersome. Even so, we we appreciate your cooperation. This stock has really changed in such a short time. Even commoners can own yachts now. Anyway, here's the docking fee. The man handed the group the docking fee for a small for a semi-medium ship. Thank you for the docking fee. We'll put a sticker on your boat to show that it's been checked. Do as you please. Now, if you'll excuse me. That guy seemed really tired. Well, times are tough, and I'm sure he has a share of troubles. Do you actually see the sticker? Aww. Beautiful man. Oh, was this guy here before? Maybe he's here to check on- Or, maybe he's here to check his ship. Good timing, I guess. Hello. Oh, you're- Are you here to admire my yacht? <laughs> no, where- 
the group explained to the man what was going on. Oh, I see. Well, anyway, take a good look at my yacht. I named it Radiance. With the man's cooperation, they checked the cargo and the registration. Now we just need a docking fee. Yeah, I need to pay for a semi-medium ship, right? The man handed the group a do uh, the docking fee for a semi-medium ship. Well, doesn't look like you're cheating the system. <laughs> well, the law's the law. Well, anyway, I'm going to continue to admire Radiance for a little while longer. Oh, is it alright if I put the sticker on myself? Sure. <laughs> he was really excited. Yeah, he seems to be doing well financially. Hmm, where should I put the sticker? I need to make sure it doesn't compromise the beauty of this. <laughs> compromise the beauty. What is it like? If you put it on the side, it's gonna get washed off. I don't know. There's... I don't know, man. Actually, where, where, where should you put the sticker? Or just slap it on the side and just wash off eventually. Huh. Oh, wait. You have to. Oh, wait. Are there unmarked. Oh, I was, like, I was like, wait, I was like, wait, why isn't there... This ship should be fine now. Oh, I was like, I was like, wait, why can't I investigate? So I guess they did some already, but then, okay. A small orbital boat. Let's contact the owner and get this over with. They contact the ship owner and confirm the cargo and the registration of the ship. That should conclude our task. Haha, <laughs> good work. Here's a docking fee. Can I get the sticker? The man handed the group the docking or uh, the docking fee for the, for a small ship, and they gave him a sticker. Here you go, or there you go. Huh, that was fast. Well, I'm used to doing this. Just so you know, I own a big ship too. Don't let this little one throw you off. Duly noted. Well, this be the only one left. Huh, what do you students need for my sh- Oh, wait! Oh shit, no! I snipe, right clicked. Hold on. So wait. Once we get permission to drop anchor. And what? Huh. What do you students need from my ship? Well, actually... The group explained to the man what was going on. I see, so you're helping with inspections. This is a big ship. What is it carrying? Uh, these are all... These are all products of my company, Kleist and... C okay, we're, we're gonna need to uh, do a thorough inspection here. Huh, I see. Did we go through... Uh, did we go to the Kleist Mall earlier? Yes, it's run by a company. Anyway, let's get this over with. Who will be here for the inspection? I'll be here in the owner's stead. After inspecting the ship, they confirmed the, uh, the registration. Here's a docking fee. Thank you. Here goes the sticker. There. Ah, I'm tired. Same here, but... Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Looks like another ship has just docked. So we have to inspect it as well. Yeah, let's not forget to do that. Damn, that's the big one. Alrighty then. Let's get a hold of the person in charge and go straight into the inspection. 
uh, Union Company talked to the noble who owned the ship and, though he was annoyed, they finished the inspection. Hmm. Children are uh, oogling my sh er, yeah, oogling my ship. I need to disinfect it later. What a piece of. You know, don't let them bother you. Huh. If they get to you, you lose. Huh. Here's the docking fee. Am I handed the group the docking fee for a semi large ship? Wait a sec, this is a semi large ship? Looks pretty big to me. According to the registration papers, it's semi large. Uh, according to the standards, it's barely within the limits for a semi large ship. Huh. Will you hurry? If you're done with the sticker, then get lost already. Breathe, Yuna, breathe. Good job. Our inspections are complete. Yeah, let's report to the clerk. Barely within... Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, look! There's some fish there! See. Oh, please come to Clay Small. It's a one-time stop, or er, it's a one-stop shop for all your shopping needs. I believe, I mean, I know you'll be completely satisfied. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Oh, that cruiser's that cruiser's a, or that is an RF model from one generation ago. <laughs> you could tell from here. You must really like ships. Since it's one generation old, it should. Uh, it should barely fall in the large range. Yeah, because of that, the newest model is a little more compact. Doesn't that kind of suck that such a little difference in the volume changes your tax bracket? Well, lines need to be drawn somewhere. Instructor, this is... Yeah, something may be wrong with the papers. Seems like something fish... It seems like something fishy's going on. Instead of confronting them, let's just report to Eston later. Understood. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this should be... Let me see. Good work, everyone. Looks like your inspections went off without a hitch. Well, actually, the group reported the mismatching size of the cruiser. Ah, I see. He must have falsified his information. That lines up. But why would he do that? He's... Yeah, he seemed really well off. Perhaps his wealth is exactly why he's so stingy. Well, it's kind of stupid to pay a larger fee. Or it might be his way of protesting against the government. Well, it's true that nobles have been, uh, getting less income through taxation. Huh, that doesn't justify falsifying his papers, though. Anyway, I'll handle this from here on. I'm glad I asked you to help out. I hope I can ask for your help again. If an opportunity pre presents itself, huh, just ask a bracer or something next time. <laughs> Smoke grenades and battle scopes. Thank you so much. You guys are a big help. Oh, they closed off the... Oh... Alright, let's see if we can get anything done within North Street now. In Seabreeze. Lots of food stalls and stuff outside. Or not just food, I think. No, is it? This is North Street of, of the Port City. It's basically a hill that, that leads to the port. In addition to the taverns, there's an Orban store and a glass workshop that is popular with the Duke households. Ooh, despite being the big city of nobles, it's actually quite approachable. And with all the stalls, it's pretty lively. The sea breeze is laced with a pleasant aroma. <laughs> they must be cooking seafood somewhere. I'm glad nothing has changed. Oh, is your home around here? Huh, isn't this the commoner area? When my grandfather retired, he moved to this area. Would it be alright for me to go say hi? It's just past this alley. Yes, of course. I don't mind. Is it alright if we meet them too? By all means! This is exciting. Sure, my friends are here too, but I'm going to introduce my future- potential future husband to everyone! I don't want you to shock them, so don't talk around, okay? 
I still can't gauge how serious she is. Uh, Muse's family. I have no idea what to expect. Count Egret. The home of any uh, count has got to be prestigious. Or it could be a very humble home. Empire Meat. Oh. Uh, you're the young lady who's related to Sir Egret. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, uh, Bartolo. Uh, Bartolo, has anything changed? Well, look at the towns we're in. You can't really say they're peaceful. Marcus Bell is the government is a government puppet. The RMP barges into everyone's business and the Imperial Navy has to get their way. I guess it goes to show that with great power comes a great many headaches. Oh, is that so? This year the Imperial Provincial Council and the Summer Festival fall on the same days. So everyone's in a festive mood. If you find sticking around, make sure to be careful. What's up with those old guys? There's something about them. I heard that my grandfather did him a big favor, so he owes him. Uh, I guess it goes to show that Muse is pretty well connected. Yo, you know, there's always, there's always one thing I love. Okay, okay, the texture is ass on this, but there's always one thing I I really like to try. Like that I've seen in food vlogs is when they have like a whole bunch of meat on like a little like uh spinning uh thing here, and they like slice it off like as you uh. Like, uh, as- what was it? When you order something, like, they kind of, like, slice off however much meat or whatever for your order. And, like, uh, pretty much, like, serve it to you kind of like that and stuff. Like, I don't know, like, uh, the story seems pretty cool to me. They don't have anything like that where I am. At least as far as I know. That or I'd have to, like, no. I'd have to, like, uh... Uh, I'm pretty sure there should be someone within drivable distance, but anything like conveniently nearby? Not really, unfortunately. I'd love to try uh, try these out. I, actually, I don't know what the proper name or term is for like the like what was it? Uh, whatever these meat pillars are, <laughs> whatever the actual term is. You really got a ragtag group on your hands. The Ashen Chevalier, some weird kids, and the Delenka to Rocco. Is anything I, if there's anything I can help you with, let me know. Or, let me know, my lady. <laughs> Thank you, Bartolo. Weird kids. He seems to know about me, too. He's well informed, to say the least. Oh, whoop. Let's see. Don't cause too much trouble for my lady here, okay? Brown sausage. A huge pile of savory sausage meat. I'll take two. Oh man, I'm really running low on Mira though. I need to, I need to start exchanging some stuff later. Although, uh, we gotta go to Clay Small for higher exchange rates. Let's see, Tonio, yo yo, you don't look like normal tourists. This area is close to the business district and has easy access to the port. Not to mention all the rest, all the good restaurants that are here. It's really, or it's just really convenient. See, so you see that tavern over there? They're, how the. Fuck do you pronounce that? Booyah base? Okay, hold on. I just wanna double check too. You should give it a try. Let's see, two, uh, okay, same line. Bonka, Betty. Wait, did I see? Nah, never mind. Uh, aren't there any? Aren't there any handsome guys anywhere? Maybe I should find someone rich. Yeah. Oh yeah. We don't have anything to lose. No way. That's not possible. I mean, not even in her dreams. <laughs> There are a lot of tourists because of the summer festival. Maybe I'll actually try to find someone this year. Yeah, good luck with that. Uh, let's see. Stress over factory. Okay. Okay, we'll hit up all the NPCs outside. It smells nice. Ortis is also known for its abundance of flowers. Hmm. Gifts? Oh, my lady. It's been a while. 
Hello, Glycine. Uh, it looks looks like the flowers are coming to full bloom. Yes, we've had ample sunlight this year, and most of the flowers are blooming so beautifully. Please, take a good gander. Orders and the surrounding areas get really good sunlight, which is perfect for growing flowers. This year was especially good, and so many varieties are in full bloom. Please take a good gander. Rose perfume. To Sharon! Ooh, watermelon seeds. And Rose Pecky. Max Bond. Oh, I found a nice flower shop. I should get home now that I'm done running errands, but it won't hurt to take a peek, right? So, private home, tavern, and Strauss. Okay, let's go to the private home. Guess what? My big brother's coming back tomorrow. He's a sailor, and he travels all over, so he isn't home much, but he's really cool. I can't wait. My big brother's coming back tomorrow. Yay, yay, yay. I can't wait. Okay. Beer? My oldest son is a sailor, so he isn't home often, but this year he's coming, or he's going to come back for the summer festival. I can't wait to see him. See, we should be able to spend the summer festival as a family. Ooh. Hmm, is it just these two? Oh, are you a tourist? We saw some rooms in our inn. During the summer festival, everything gets booked up. Make your, res make your reservation sooner rather than later. Oh, drat. Betty went out again. We got busy, so I was gonna ask her to help out, but I suppose I'm too late. Oh. I may not look it, but when I was younger, I was capable of catching giant great white sharks. Nowadays, I don't go fishing unless I feel like it, but I'm still the best in business. <laughs> they call me Shark Catcher Russell. No, all I do nowadays is drink here. All for Wea Bays. Alright, that should be a recipe. Passionate hot pot. Oh. Welcome, we pride ourselves on our seafood. We only use the freshest fish. They're as fatty and delicious as we can get. Go on, and give it a taste. Oh, whoops. See, we get all of our seafood from Russell. He may look like a drunk, but his skills as a fisherman are the real deal. Oh. Oh, there's one person here. Who this? Wait, are you? Rhines! Yo! <laughs> Is he working on a tourism brochure or something for Crossbow? I finally got permission to come here to cover the Provincial Council. Oh, right, 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 right. I forgot the Provincial Council is like super important. <laughs> I'm stupid. I wonder what the Imperial Noble's decision is going to be. As a member of the Crossbow Times, I'm excited. I gotta get my coverage in. I've always wanted to come to Ordis. Oh. Uh, no grace? Nah, I guess like, it's just a uh, solo reporting. Alright. So all that's left is uh, the Oval Factory, and then we proceed with the main quest, I think. Oh my lady, it's been a while! <laughs> er, <laughs> I suppose it's been about two years. Looks like you've improved greatly, Luther. I still have a long way to go! Perhaps it's still the ultimate cross- or is the ultimate craftsman. He received the golden emblem. I can hold my own in the workshop, but my glasswork pales in comparison to his. Really, I thought this place looked prestigious, but... The Golden Emblem. That means this place produces the best glassworks in the Empire. This might make a perfect souvenir. 
I made some for some of them for practice, so don't blow things out of proportion. Anyways, we greatly appreciate our customers. We can adjust uh, ornaments as well, so let us know if you need any help with that. Oh, you know, in hindsight, I should have been having uh, these be the the lead here, but oh well. Trilogy hearts. A pinky ring with three hearts on it can be given to Elisa. Ooh. Grams is the ultimate craftsman. You receive the golden emblem. Blah 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 blah. I just need to keep on practicing. Oh. Long time no see, Mrs. Strauss. Oh, you're Lady Egret, and these must be the students of Thor's branch campus. That's right. We're here for your request. As suspected, you are an acquaintance of Muse's. Since our mansion is nearby, we have simply enjoyed the privilege of his service. I never served you. I was just acquainted with a count. I don't like nobles. They like to, uh, they like to believe that power is determining the determining factor of a person's value. I mean, Count Egret is fine, but look at Duke Kyan. Below that uh, pile of fine silky words is a truly pitiful man. Damn. Well, um, since you mention it, the Civil War is basically a result of him running wild. Oh, I see. Wasn't it Altina who ultimately captured him? Oh well. Huh, you got some balls saying that out in the open air. Spirit times are changing, but ain't this still a nobleman's town? Huh, I don't give a damn! If you wanna- if you wanna do something about it, go right ahead! Me? I ain't gotta do Jack. I gotta respect someone as crazy as you. Well, Mr. Strauss is a famous glassmaker. Many nobles love his work, so he gets some leeway. I guess that's one way to put it. Anyway, I'm busy this time of year. It would be great if you could help me prepare for the summer festival. Sure. Understood. So, what do we need to do? Well, I was tasked with creating the decorations for the festival, and I want you to collect some materials that I need. The Order Summer Festival is also uh, the celebration of the sea. We use seashells for decorations. I want you to collect some jade shells, which are kind of hard to come by. I want something big. I want something big. Without any scratches. Jade shells, huh? That, they have a pretty name. Yes, they're shells that are unique to the coastal province. They become hard to come by this time of year due to the summer festival. So where can we find them? I don't know. Why don't you try using your brains? Uh, he seems pretty hot under the, under the collar. Eh, kind of like old man Schmidt. Well, if they're that high in demand, it'll probably be hard to find them in town. In which case, we should... We should just go uh, look for them on our own. Yes, we should head to the beach along uh, Oro's Coastal Road. So, big and not scratch. Sounds like a pain in the ass, but let's go. Come back when you think you found a worthy jade shell. Now then. The best jade shells are big and don't have any, sh any scratches. If you found like that, please hand it to me. Well done. Alright. So that means we gotta go over to... And to the left. Oh. Oh, we're not allowed to... Oh. Wait, wait, time out? Oh, wait, wait, so we're not about to- Oh, so I have to- Oh, okay, I had to- Oh, okay, I had to proceed enough to at least get to the coastal road. And then I can do this. Okay. <sighs> well, okay, at least I know that we're all done with the- uh... We're all done with the dialogue and we started on some of the quests and stuff. Okay. 
So that should be pretty much everything we need to bother with. So now, let's go, let's go greet the count. Oh, this is, this is your home. Yes, this is, this is the Count Egret residence where I used to live. I already told them about our visit, so please come in. Huh, you walk enough straight into some kind of spider web. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. Let's make sure we are rude to her family. At long last. Oh. Welcome home, uh, Lady Muse. I'm so pleased to see you first thing upon my arrival, Setsuna. Uh, hello. My apologies for the sudden visit. We are... Class 7 of Thor's Branch Campus, right? Lady Muse has told me much about you. <laughs> and I just finished putting on, putting on the tea for you. Oh. How could she have known we were coming? But of course she knew. I wrote to her about our impending arrival. I told her right down to the very hour. How? That's not humanly possible. Aww. Welcome home, Muse. Uh, we've missed you so. Ah. Grandfather, grandmother, I'm so delighted to see you. And Egret. Lady Suzanne. You haven't changed at all, my dear. And I see you brought guests. You must excuse me for not coming down. I'm Theodore Egret, Musée's grandfather. Welcome, members of Class 7 and Ashen Chevalier. Wow, the taste is amazing. The tea leaves must be of very high quality. And the scones are freshly baked too. It's from uh, Ora's first flush of the season. It pairs well with sets in its confections, no? Instructor, I heard your style of swordsmanship hails from the east. Would you have preferred uh, green tea from Long Lai? <laughs> this suits me perfectly, I assure you. You must be familiar with the variety of customs outside of Erebonia. Were you the one who gave Muse her kimono? Well, a man, of a man of retirement has more time on his hands than he'll ever know what to do with. And this being a port city, I have access to goods near and far. With Ali buys, we soon uh, we soon won't at or we soon won't be able to fit into our own home. Ah, uh, but it's what, but it's one of his few pleasures in life. Now you've come all this way. Please relax. I, f I just fear I have no information to share on that Jaeger core you're searching for. Ah. Uh, huh? How did you know? I heard that you stopped by the naval fortress. I would have guessed between the timing of your visit and the circumstances as they are. Oh, Grandfather, you trickster. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you did the same damn thing. You got a good nose of some things at home, man. Ash, that's rude. Kanye Great used to serve as the oh wait, used to serve as the previous Duke uh, Kain's advisor. I still listen for plenty of hearsay. And speaking of, you do me or you do me great honor by visiting my home, Ash and Chevalier. My granddaughter, being the delight that she is, we may end up getting to know each other very well in the future. <laughs> Now hold up a minute, what was she writing in those letters? <laughs> oh, you do go on. Oh, uh, well. Everything about her makes sense now. Just what you write in that letter? No, now, Muse, don't cause trouble for your school. You must forgive us. I'm just so excited to see her again. All jokes aside, you've come to the city at a peculiar time. 
The Imperial Provincial Council begins tomorrow. Tough to so many ruling lords present will no doubt bring a share of trouble. Perhaps, but will you not be in attendance? I've had the privilege of an invitation, but retirement suits me. The main topic of discussion bids me to remain quiet as well. Of course. It's a topic worthy of discussion, however. Agreed. It's much more serious than the state of Croissant. Yep, even a comrade like me gets that. Ali, any ideas? I only have information on Ordis around the time uh, around the time of the war. Anything we say on the matter would be pure speculation, so why don't we stop before we get ahead of ourselves? Hmm. Huh, too true. Ah, I heard the branch campus's principal is General Le Guin. What do you think of her? Um, well... She lives up to everything people say, to be certain. Nothing I heard in Rocco could have prepared me for that whack job. I never met someone so extraordinary with the ego to match. That's saying quite a lot, though I can't deny any of it. <laughs> Your honesty is refreshing. I've noticed since she was, uh... Since she was child? Since she was a child. Due to being acquainted with the previous count, I never thought she would gain such a name for herself. The, uh, the egrets quite adore General Le Guin. And since she is quite equally loved uh, throughout Ordis. Uh, also, uh, knowing this, yeah, that kind of explains why Muse is kind of familiar with, uh, with uh, Aurelia. Okay. It would be no exaggeration to call her our hero, in fact. It was she who protected our poor from the Imperial Army during the Civil War. I mean, I've heard those stories, sure. <laughs> we only see her as our terrifying principal, I fear. Um, pardon us? Uh, we've completely overstayed our welcome. But I enjoyed all- er, but I enjoyed hearing all the stories you told us. The tea and the scones were very good. We loved having you here. Indeed, you put a smile on this old man's face. You've made some wonderful friends, Muse. <laughs> I certainly have. Well then, Grandfather, Grandmother, Satsuna, I shall return once again uh, once we're on break. You take care during your activities. I shall prepare some excellent tea and scones upon your return. family. Your Gramps is quite a character. Well, even though he's retired now, I can tell he must have been rather accomplished in his day. That's very kind of you. He took care of me ever since I lost my parents. However, since I left home for school when I was just nine, I wish I could do more for him. I see. I remember you telling me about your parents. But why did he even let you go to the military academy, let alone allow you to quit the girls' school? And it wasn't even the main campus, but a branch campus full of weirdos and troublemakers. I had my reasons for leaving the girls' school. I figured that since the times are the way they are now, I should enroll Thor's. And in regards to the main campus, they really intensified their evaluations of the, of the noble students. So Grandfather was okay with me going to the branch campus, especially since General Aurelia is the principal. I see. There are many contributing factors. It's kind of surprising. Huh. I wasn't able to help you at all. Mm. Neither was I. I wish there was something I could have done. Wait. Had my reasons for leaving the girls. I wasn't able to help you at all, neither was I. Ah. What, what could it have been? Huh. <laughs> Your concern is more than enough. I couldn't keep going to St. Astraya either way. Oh. Huh. Reasons. I'm sure you did. Then I entered the branch campus and met everyone in military finance in class 7. And most importantly, I met Instructor Reen. It must have been destiny. 
Uh, <laughs> destiny aside, I'm glad you feel that way about meeting us. Anyhow, let's resume our special ops missions. I think we looked or we looked around here or looked around enough here. We could go take care of the wanted monster now. You're right. Let's go. I haven't relaxed like this in a while. I hope grandmother or grandfather, grandmother, and sister are doing well. In any event, I should consider this a nice starting over point. Starting over point? I mean, from what we did see in her bond scene, she's cracked with an oval rifle. Scarily so. A bullseye shot and a headshot, like all within one one quick go. So she's got some like She's got some darker side, I guess, or maybe wilder side, aside from her thirstiness serene, that she's not exactly showing us. But a starting over point. <clears throat> I'm sorry we weren't able to help you. I don't have a I have no reason to keep going to St. Australia anyway at this or whatever uh Muse said. Huh. I've, I mean, there's like literally nothing else we can like glean from this aside from just the vague statements. Brilliant shot may not be used. Ah, oh, music three. Family ties. Lost her parents early, so she was raised by her grandparents. She seems to take uh, after her grandfather quite a bit. Oh. Random abnormality. Oh. Oh, basically, uh, Machius, uh, S craft. Oh. Oh. All right, so. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, can we go back inside? Yeah, 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 I need to talk again. It can be dangerous once you leave the city limits. Muse and everyone else, please be careful. Be well, Grandmother. Muse, you seem to have a really good instructor. Oh, please stop. I highly doubt you will approve of our relationship. I don't think that's what he was talking about. <laughs> Drop by any time. You're always welcome. I may be retired, but I can still help. Hmm. Goodbye, my lady, and the rest of Class 7. I pray you will succeed on your field exercises. Thank you. I'm happy you got to eat one of your scones, Satsuna. I'll return soon enough. Very well. I shall always be ready for you. And I would imagine... Actually, will there be... Wait, is there like a collectible thing by any chance? No. Well, actually... Uh, no, is this a... Uh... Hmm. Nah, no, that's just generic photos. Hmm. Oh, okay, nothing here though. Oh, okay. So, that should take care of everything within Ordis. Man, Ordis is a huge time. Goodness. Oh, wait, uh, wrong, wrong uh, place. Oh, uh, wait, they're, they're only that much more by like, point, wait. From 8 to 8 point, what? Bro, the IBC had a better fucking deal. Oh, uh, so that explains the decimal. Oh my god, I see. 
Well, I mean, I'll at least exchange the uh, Sepith mask. Bro! I thought that when they said the exchange rates are higher, I thought we'd see like 10 for the the basic elements. Like 14 for the higher elements and like 25 for Sepith mask. What is this shit? I mean, I, I better rates are better rates, but what the fuck? Although one thing that would be like super cool, but also super fucked. If, like, the more you buy from Kleisen Co. versus, like, uh, the Noble Store here, like, it, it would, like, lead to something with, like, Hugo and Kleisen Co. and, like, some future sub-event or something like that. That'd be pretty cool if that was an actual thing, but I'm pretty sure that's not. But I'm like, huh, I, like, if there was a thing like that, I would not support Kleisen Co. But for gameplay purposes, yeah, I, I need my mirror. Bro, but come on, I, like when I saw higher exchange rates, I was like thinking about how good the deal was for uh, the IBC and Crossbell, but now? Bruh, bruh, no, not even close. Like, oh, should, oh wait, in the Crossbell games, they didn't have Sepith Mass, so the exchange rates were like... The exchange rates were like 20 each for the high, uh, for the basic elements and 30 for the higher actually wait no, no, no they went up to was it 21 and then 32 for the higher elements so it's like even then if you kind of like try to slash it appropriately that would equate to like uh wait hold on 21 yeah like 10.5 this 10.1 like, bro. And the uh, higher elements, like 10.2, was it? No, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah 10.2. Like, the higher elements equivalent will be, let me see. 32. Oh, wait, no, they're only worth 10 here, right? So they're worth a third. So then 32. It's like. 10.89-ish, give or take. And yeah, with Sepith Mass... Oh no, there's nothing... No, you can't compare Sepith Mass. But, oh my god. Because <laughs> I thought I was able to, like... I thought I was going to be able to exchange some of my win Sepith for some good value. No! Not at all! No, I'm gonna keep this. Screw that! But alright then. So I think this is a good point to stop for tonight. I will continue more trails later. It be late. Well, sort of, but yeah, I do got work tomorrow, unfortunately. Man, again, I don't complain about this like occasionally, but man, I really wish, I really wish three day weekends were, uh, were more of a thing. Cause like, again, you start to get settled in on your second day, but then you realize, ah, oh, crap, I gotta go back to work. I mean, that's just adult life for you. But any, or working life for you. Anyways, okay. So I'm gonna go close it out here, get ready to sleep, and dread tomorrow and the rest of the week. Among many other things in my life. Wait, what? No, just kidding. Okay, thanks for watching.